with Doug Smith, the Toronto Star. What have the Cavaliers been able to do to make life so difficult for DeMar, and can you survive with him not getting his usual stuff on the offense? No, not we can't. To be honest with you, we can't. Uh, they're into him, botting him. Uh, you know, he's got to vault up and make his shots. I've got to do a better job of getting him open looks, which we, we're trying to do. But uh, at the end of the day, he's got to, we got to, we're going to go the way he and Kyle go. Um, you know, it's not like he's not working to do it, but we got to set better screens. He's got to vault up and shoot the ball with conviction. And uh, they're not doing anything special. They're blitzing on and off. Um, but, um, you know, again, he, he's, he has another level he can get to. Kenny Road to WHBC. Dwayne, they were up by 30, another 20 point loss here. In your words, how would you describe how the Cavaliers have been able to handle you here in what's this your, building? What's your name? Kenny Road at WHBC. Okay. Kenny, uh, the thing about it is we're in the same place we were last year. Last year, if they, we had two blowout wins. We go to Toronto. The, the series has gone nowhere. Uh, we had two tough losses here. Again, until the team loses on wins on another team's court is a series. So uh, we go back to Toronto. They played well. We shake their hand. They shot great. LeBron shoots 21 free throws. It, it, you know, we shoot 19 as a team. Um, you know, again, they played well, and we we haven't scratched the surface of where we can go. So we we take our butt whooping and go home. Is there? Another possible lineup change you can make after the one you made tonight? We'll see. We'll see. Dwayne, PJ Ziegler, Fox 8, uh, 20, uh, or I should say 18 three pointers for the Cavs tonight, uh, shot 54%. Um, they like to take what the defense gives you. Is that, did you feel like you guys did what you could to prevent them from? PJ, from I the thought things? a lot of those, we were, were in their face. They're shooting the ball extremely well. I mean, we, we've got to make a miss, but a lot of those were in their grill hand up, and they're making some tough shots. Uh, we can do better. We can get closer. Uh, again, they're shooting it very well. It, it's, uh, I think we can, you know, as far as switching out, switch out quicker, rotate quicker. Uh, but they're making some shots. James is making some shots that, uh, you know, some of them you're going to live with. But uh, um, we can do some different things to, to do a better job of getting there contesting the shots. And LeBron James, these last two games, I know you've seen him a lot throughout his career. Do you feel he's taken it to, to another level these last he's two games? He's playing well. He's playing well. And, uh, you know, we put him on the line 21 times. He shoot, makes 20, uh, shoots 21 free throws, uh, way too many. But uh, he's playing well right now. Dwayne, Steve Simmons, Toronto Sun. You say the team hasn't scratched the surface yet of what they're capable of. What's the overriding emotion of your group right now? Anger, embarrassment, how, how would you define where all they're at the, right now? All the above, Steve. Uh, you, we should be embarrassed, we should be angry, we should be pissed off, uh, mad. Uh, the same situation we were in last year, now what are we gonna do about it? We've talked about it now for a week. Um, you know, again, we'll go back, watch the films, try to find some more solutions uh, for it. But again, it's, it's uh, until we play at that level, uh, of of taking away the three, taking away the paint, getting out and rotating quicker, um, and then offensively against, like I said before the game, we got to be able to score. We got to put the ball in the hole. We only had what 17 three point attempts, and uh, we got to get more than that. <clears throat> Bruce Arthur, Toronto Star. Dwayne, what did you see in that game, if anything, that gave you encouragement that you can get back in this series at home? The play of Jonas, I thought Jonas played very well. Corey shot the ball very well. I thought early in the game we were we were playing with more force, more conviction uh, offensively, uh, but we didn't do it for an experience, uh, extended period of time, Bruce. Um, you know, again, it's the same situation as last year. For whatever reason, we're not playing with the confidence offensively we should be. Um, again, we it's, they're not doing anything we haven't seen before uh, defensively. So. I'm encouraged. Again, I, I haven't given up. It, it's, I know it, it hurts, like I told the team, that we should be mad, upset, but uh, it's a long series. It's two games, two games on their floor. Uh, the way we lost them is not good, and we shouldn't, you know, shouldn't accept that. But uh, again, we go back home and, and start over again. <clears throat> Eric Corrine, The Athletic. Uh, you mentioned the 17 three-point attempts. 
do you see that as being too hesitant to shoot and the shots are there or what did you see? I think we turned down some, Eric. I yeah. think we turned down some that we had. <clears throat> and against them, we got to be shot ready, ready to shoot the basketball once it comes out to us, ready to shoot it. Um, you know, again, they're, they're, they're flying around, but again, we're, the, the shots are there, but we got to be ready to, to, to pull the trigger and knock them down. You know, they make 18 and we attempt 17. So uh, that's a huge difference. Michael Grange from Sportsnet. Uh, is there part of you that just looks at the level the Cavs have played at the last couple of games and objectively they are just playing at a really high level and sure there's things you can do better, but it's not like you're playing that poorly? Maybe it's just they're, they're that good well, they're right now? they're playing at a high. We're not, I mean, we're, again, we're, we're not playing at our level, Michael. I'm not going to uh, give in to that. But they're playing at a very high level. We can take it up. We're going to have to. We got to at our place, at our home. Uh, there's no reason some of the situations that we have of rotating 50-50 balls, all the things we can control, we can do better. And uh, that's the pressure we got to keep on ourselves, on each other, on individuals. Collectively, I mean, like tonight, uh, Jonas has a great game. Corey plays well. And then DeMar doesn't have a good game. Um, you know, and Patrick Patterson and, and uh, Norm and other guys. So collectively, we got to get, you know, five or six guys on the same page. And just to, sorry, just to follow up, any update on Kyle? How was he once his ankle cooled down? Well, we'll see. He was still he was still getting treatment when I left to come over here. But um, you know, he he we, that's, that's why we kept him in because we knew once he sat down, it was stiff enough. So we'll see how it is uh, tomorrow. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Uh, Coach Ken Miller from the uh, Call and Post. A couple of questions. The first one is, uh, is your level of optimism because of the experience that you had in terms of going to Toronto and taking care of business with this team, is that the reason why you're as optimistic? And the other one, what do you say to DeMar DeRozan, who was as frustrated tonight as I've ever seen him? Well, you know, DeMar, this is not – you know, he's had other bad games before, and he's bounced back. So I have all the confidence in the world he's going to bounce back um, because I've seen it. And the optimism I have is last year where we lose by 30 here, I guess it was, it was. And everybody had knocked us off as done and said it's over with. You know, again, I don't believe in that. I don't subscribe to that. I believe in our players. I believe in our guys. I know there's another level we can get to, and I've seen it before. So that's the optimism I go back to Toronto with. 